friends, what you have out there is Cincinnati, Ohio. Like WKRP in Cincinnati. Elvis played here multiple times. There's also a famous scene where he moved hotels. We might just have to go check that out. Come with, won't you? Is that the Leaning Tower of Pizza? No, that is the Radical Radisson. It could be Leaning, though, you never know. I wonder why they named it after radishes. That's just weird. A lot of people don't know that Cincinnati is actually a riverfront city. We're going to, in fact, go over the rubber and through the woods, but we're not going to Grandma's house. Look at that building right there, really. Yeah, look at that crazy thing. That's art right there now. I don't know what it is. Well, where is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Is that in Cincy? Cleveland. That's, that's right. You know why? Because Cleveland rocks. <laughs> Drew Carey. Yep. That's flying, flying his drone. He had his drone pad on the ground flying. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you mean? You know, like it has like. You just a, saw God just then? Yeah, he's on there. He was back there on that hill. He's about to take a lift off with his drone. What pad are you talking about? They had like a, a drone pad. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah, some of those pro guys do that kind of stuff where it'll come back to that. And my question is, why would you? <laughs> you just fly it out of the car. Heck, I've flown it right off the roof before. Did you get a shot at the stadium over here? Get to practice field. Yeah. He was... We're headed down, downtown, with the Brizam, 2nd Street, right here. Where are we going first, Trey? We're going to, I think, Riverfront Coliseum. Yeah, Riverfront Coliseum. That's the Bengals. You thought it was the Cincinnati Beagles? Beagles. You told me Beagles while uh, ago. I said Bengals. You said Beagles. You thought it was Beagles. It's like some, some groups over there getting them set up to play. Some little tour buses. Yeah. So where we're going, Elvis played June 25th, 77. The second to last concert ever. That's right. So after here, Indianapolis, right? That was it. And that was it. That was it. The day the music died. Elvis left the building. Underground Railroad Freedom Center. Can't put a railroad underground. Well, I guess you could. They call it Subway, though. Okay. It's not that funny. Don't encourage me. Here's the baseball park right here. The Reds play. That's it. I guess they have nothing of... Um, most famous Cincinnati Red of all time, Pete Rose. Oh no, they ever tried to erase him. Heritage Bank Center, that's gotta be it. That's right gotta there. be it right there. So we gotta find it the place to stop. So friends, we are in Cincinnati on the riverfront. You can see the river right out there. And Trey's got a photograph <clears throat> that I'm gonna show you. This is Ginger and Elvis. And you see the four right there and you see the edge of the door. 
that four was hanging on the wall right here. You can see the edge of that door. So they were coming out of this and going that way. And I'll show you right here where the four is or where it was. You can see where it was hanging right there. So this is definitely the spot right here where they were coming out of heading back to the hotel in 1977. And they would have come out and gone right down here and gone that way. So I want to run across the street and see what's going on over here on the riverfront. Friends, it is chillier than I wanted it to be out here, I can tell you that. It's cold out here. So you can park down there, look at this. You can drive down. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Cincinnati WKRP. Boy, they're really defeating the purpose of those bicycles, aren't they? Now I want to watch them come back down. But this would have been the back entrance that Elvis would have gone in and out of. And he played right there, Hermitage Bank Center, Heritage Bank Center. So they would have pulled out right here. Gone down here. And of course the roads, as we've mentioned many times, could have changed a thousand times since then. That was 40, what, 44 years ago. But this is the site where we're going now of a very famous set of photographs. And even, I would use the word seen, some would say that Elvis was leaving because there was a problem with the air conditioner. But Others would say <laughs> different things, let's just say that. then without GPS <clears throat> getting to these places from one place to the other had to be a challenge for whoever was driving I think a lot of times they would try to hire a local cop right right but didn't like Dick say that you know they always routed their routes. yeah they would come scout it a little bit before yeah. but still had to be hard though because you can get if you're unfamiliar and you drive a place one time or two times, it's still hard to remember. But like you said, they had somebody that was familiar with the town. Usually right? they would hire a local cop. I bet that's a local cop's car, which if we knew whose car that was. The car could still be here. That would be cool to see. But back then, nobody knew that Elvis would be talked about and the vehicles would be crazy valuable all these years later. I think I see it. I think you might. I see this building to the right. Yeah, it'd be to our left. Yeah, but... You talking about that with all those windows right there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It looks kind of like it, but I thought it would be more wide open than that. We just have to put our eyes on it. I don't think it is. I 
problem when you come into these darn cities is parking. It's always an issue with Usher. So it always trips me out when I see these banks. You see it says fifth third. Mm -hmm. So what would the fifth third be? What would the fifth third be? It would be 166. And two thirds, right? If your math is correct. Oh, my math is correct. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I probably said. So. Is it the Terrace Hotel? Which is right here. But they would have come out the back. Well, I know I've seen the door. Is that still there? This is in the same block, but it's on the other side of the block. So let's scoot around there and take a little look, see. Left lane must turn left. There's a Hilton on the corner. Is it a Hilton now? Makes sense. What? Yep, there it is. That's and look at all this crap in the way. My lord, I've never seen so much stuff. There is the Netherland Plaza, and there is the famous door. <laughs> yep, you're right. I see him coming out. We're about to. All right. We're going to have to park. And we're about to get a cool picture. Yes, we are. This is going to be a, a cool Elvis spot. Assess. It is. Stay tuned. His friends are tearing this building down or restoring it or doing something. There's guys. You see these little things going up the side of the building right there? That is a scaffold, and they're standing on it up there. That is sticking off the side of the building. You see that guy? got them all the way around the whole building. And that thing will climb up and down the building on those little, the one on the end's only got one. It climbs up and down that. I ain't that crazy. So friends, we are in Cincinnati, Ohio, Fifth Street West. This is the Hilton Netherland Plaza, and Elvis stayed here. There's a famous photo of him coming out of here, and they also came out, got mad, and left here and went to another hotel. The story is that the air conditioner didn't work, so let's go do a picture lineup real quick. Stay tuned. So if you come around to this side right here, there's a door opening and a famous photo of Elvis coming out of this door. See this? Look right there. He's actually coming out of this side. You can see the revolving door is right there, and he's coming out right there. There it is, big as daytime. So Trey's going to reenact. Come on, Red, let's go. Let's go. Bet you've seen that photo. I didn't know where it happened now. And the elevators are right here. Visual Hotel at Cincinnati Reds. Really? They have a Churchill suite for Churchill Stadium.
this is how high I am, friends. I'm listening. picture of John F. Kennedy when he came here. Wow. And I knew that Elvis had been to my restaurant too. And uh, but I never had a picture of that. Then I had recently uh, Colin Farrell picture of him coming in. That's cool. On video. And because we have security cameras in here and it was running the whole time he was in here. So and that was in this location. That was in this location. Yeah. So let me there's a story that I read that Elvis like a hamburger he actually showed up in the kitchen and thanked the chef. Here Morning. in this hotel. It, is, yeah. it was here. True. So it was probably in this place right here. Right here. Keys to it. Like yeah. Is yeah. there is there a, a kitchen in the hotel downstairs? In the basement? This is it. This, this is, is it. One. Yeah. So guys, this is where that story had to take place out here at the Ways Diner, which he owns. So he came here and thanked the guy for cooking his hamburger the well, way he, he wanted he it made. He ate here. He ate here. I do know that to be true. And I'll show you the kitchen. Okay. He uh, said it, he told the guy it was the best hamburger he ever had. Yeah. We still get that. We still get that all the time. Y'all do still get that? Yeah. Let me turn on the light here. So yes, sir. Yeah, guys. So he's nice enough to let us come inside. So when you visit Cincinnati, you have to come and eat here for us. That's right. Well, we've moved it now. Oh, okay. But this is going to be a pizzeria. This will be a pizzeria when it opens back up. Yeah. This is old school diner I stuff, man. It. I love it's it. true 50s authentic diner. I love it. Wow. And yeah. the chairs? The chairs are all the way from back in 1956. 56. They've been recovered a couple of times, but uh, uh, absolutely it was. And there were booths all the way through there and all the way through here. Yeah, so that is true. Let me show you. Very cool. Because this is where the story had to take place. Right now we're tearing it all apart, uh, redo it for the uh, pizza place. So we came just in time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here is the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So supposedly what I learned was Elvis liked the hamburger so much, spy guy, that he showed up here to thank the chef personally. Yeah, he would have probably poked his head right through that window. Yeah. Right here. This window right here. No, this one right here. They had a yeah. big uh, awning that, was, that went over this that had a big H on it, and he would have talked to him from right here. That's cool. I guarantee you that. And you said JFK came here. He, he actually ate back here on this corner. Really? Back over here? Yeah, right here? and he was with um, Jimmy Hoffa. Hoffa. No way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was with Jimmy Hoffa. There's a picture. I've got a picture of him with Jimmy Hoffa. Wow. You do have a picture of that? I do have a picture. I want to see that. Yeah. And it, was, it took place right I was told it's Jimmy Hoffa. Now, I don't I don't know what Jimmy Hoffa looked like, but I'll show you. But you can't mistake JFK. JFK and Jimmy Hoffa was here once upon a time in their lives. Yeah. And Elvis was here, too. And Trey and the spa guy. So many. <laughs> well, this was last week. That was last week. Oh, yeah, that's George, uh, George, George Clooney. Clooney. He was here. He was here last week. At the hotel. Look yeah. at George Clooney. Well, yeah. and then let me see. <laughs> I know I've got JFK in here, too. Wait, I probably got it under Hathaway's. Yeah, this is old school, man. Oh. Machine over yeah, there. I'm gonna to have to go up Those the are front pinball machines. Yeah. Those are uh, old school. Parchinko. Yeah, Parchinko. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like Chinese pinball. These are the people that was probably here when he came. Sony and all of them were here at that time. Let's see that. This has been the 70s. Oh, this was yeah. This was definitely about that time frame. Yeah. I mean. Let me go back and see if I can find it. I was just looking at it today, so I know it's here. There's Tony Perez. Cool. 
We had Sticks. We've had every one of them in here at one time or another. Almost every major rock and roll band came through here. So he's been in here for 65 years. This is what happened. Quite a bit. This reminds me of the Netherlands. Yeah. I was in a, and I know it says Netherlands Hotel, but I was in a uh, town called Olu, and I walked in a place that looks very much like this in Olu. We're right down there, but there's one of our big. This is their new spot. So, so. Want to have about 15,000 past and present customers on this wall. Yeah. Over the next year, we're going to add them all to it. And uh, because that's a big long process. That's so going to be very cool. It's going to be a on the wall. We will put him on the wall. If you send us that, we will. I'm going to send you the picture of him leaving the hotel. There that's you go. the picture you need on the wall, yeah. right? I think so. I'll show you the rest of this. This place has got a lot of original pictures that's been around here, pre pasted, redone over the years, over and over again. Well, all of these are like the original halfway pictures. This is 1907 Cincinnati. Wow. Yeah. Very and cool. I'll show you the rest of this. But, uh, we've had people here for 42 years. Wow. Yeah. Big brownie. I know. But this is truly Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah. But uh, all these pictures have some significance. That's 50s Union Terminal. This is Mapley, building crew tower. On that corner where you were at, they used to have a dress shop there. Very cool. Hello? And it's really fast now. See all this shaking next to the Yeah, nobody's waiting for Oh, yeah. Not, not at all right now. But anyway, I got a couple of people in here right now. Let me call you back. All right, fine. But uh, this, they were here. Uh, he even had the ways of Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. He even had the ways. And then this, Lloyd Hathaway started out in uh, Dixie here. Terminal. Yes. So the owner of this place originally started out there working with his buddy out of both of them came out of the Marines, I think. Okay. He was a major. Or in the Army or the Marines, I don't know which, but he was a major, so whatever that is. I know he was a major and he started out with his buddy in this place. And then he went from here and started his own place at the terrace. And he had the uh, Hathaway's cafeteria. And then he went from that and uh, opened up pathways, and Geneva was there from the get go. Wow. Almost, yeah. So she was 15 years at the terrace, and then she spent 43 years at this one. Wow. And you said 65 years total. Yeah, well, yeah. He's been here for 65, but Geneva came here much later. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. But she was at the terrace for almost that entire time. These too. are great pictures. Yeah. But uh, a timeline of 1947 yeah. to 1962. Flying saucers and everything. And everything. Well, and I, I know it's right here. A little of everything. I know it's right here on the president's wall. Oh. Elvis and Nixon. Elvis and Nixon, that's right. When he sneaks into the White House with guns. Yeah. And take, right. he takes guns. The only man in the country that can take guns into the Oval Office yeah. and get away with it. Yeah, and now they would kill you. With Elvis. <laughs> yeah. We tried to put an even amount of uh, ones we can get. Like, there's quite a few Nixons. Nixon had such great pictures yeah. of stuff with Bob Hope and, you know, and, and stuff like that. And so did JFK. JFK yeah. had great pictures too. So there's more of JFK and Nixon than anything else. But then we tried to represent as many of them as we could. Right. But you're going to send us the picture of JFK in the restaurant. Absolutely. I'm going okay. to definitely send that to you. Very cool. And these tens are from the 50s, Norman Rockwell's. Right, right, right. Yeah. Those, those are original posters from the 50s. That movie that was playing, except for Gone with the Wind. And all the other ones are. 
Gone with the Wind was starting in the 40s. Oh, it's just back then, which is so much better. Well, those are the actual posters. Oh, yeah. Now, now the computer, I have a collection of comics. So, invite Elvis fans to come out to your place when they're in Cincinnati. We had an Elvis impersonator in here. Uh, two weeks ago on Friday and Saturday. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> so, you, so cool. are you an Elvis fan? I am. I am absolutely an Elvis fan. So when we when, we've when, been to Graceland more than a couple times. Well, next time you come to Memphis, you got to come to our new museum. Okay, I definitely. Will. You know, I'm gonna give you my number, so I'll I give will. you the address. Let me give you a call on your. All right. Name. Elvis was here. <laughs> he definitely was. Yeah, I smelled it just again. <laughs> It's really nice. The Art Deco look is just beautiful. So the guy that is that who he's about to talk for us? That's Craig Connors. We got to figure out where I'm saying. Well, he will find out. I guarantee you. What's the biggest rooms up here? Everything changed so much. So. But I'll show you guys how to get down there. Let's go down to the back. Here, I'll show you. Let's go down to the basement. Yeah. You don't want to go down that way. That just leads down to the laundry area. And soon the engineering will be called spreading out there. Right Let's see where that kitchen would have been if it was in this. I don't think it was. I don't think it was there at that time. I know a lot more history about this building uh, because I love this building. Yeah, you do love it? Yeah, I do. It's, it's nice. nice. It's but a nice building. building uh, back in the 80s when I was coming here, when Torchy owned uh, Hathaway's, this building was kept immaculate. I mean, it was. But, you know, the, the guy bought the building with big dreams, and he just did not have the money to go really where he wanted to. And uh, then he just borrowed too much, and now the place has got a lot of repair issues. And, yeah. and it's going to, you know, it'll come back because the next owner is talking about putting $70 million in it right off the bat. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah, so it's it'll really be beautiful. beautiful again. It's, I mean, it's, uh, it's you yeah, clean it's, all this woodwork back up. You mm -hmm. re shine all these shine the floor. Yeah, this was all made by the pottery barn back in the uh, 30s or whatever it was, 40s or 30s when they built the building. That's who it was made by, and they're well known throughout the world. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right down there's the gym guys. Okay. Uh, there's a guy named Billy down there. I don't, I don't care for my farm, but he, he will <laughs> tell you a lot about this. Okay, Billy. Take care, guys. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. So those are the elevators we were at right there. And if you come out of those elevators, you go directly to right there to thank the man for cooking your hamburger. That's where we were just a few minutes ago. Yeah, that's it back in the day. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Very Art Deco. Oh, that's the parking garage. Yeah, that's a gym right there. So he was saying there was a kitchen in here at some point. There's a bathroom right there. I don't know if you can get in it without a code. So we're down in the basement, friends. We're going to walk through to the garage. Now, he would have come through the garage up the ramp. And I see the ramp right there. And I would speculate that he would have had to come through this unless there's a freight elevator or something down here which I don't see now there's a ramp right there we're on this side of the ramp but the door's not open so is the door open in the next spot now these are freight elevators and it would be possible that he would come down in these elevators it is possible. and then get in the car and go out the ramp so let's go to the other side and see if the door shut at the ramp. So we've got a photo of them coming out of the parking garage, and we think it's here. And you can see the door shut. We were on the other side of the door. Nice. What do you think? 
if you can see that there was writing on the wall there, the picture went out. Those people were standing right there, so they're coming out of the ramp. They're coming out, and they're going to turn and go that way. So that's definitely right here. And that writing that you're seeing on the wall, whatever it is, is right here. And those people in the photo were standing here. Right. That's what it looks like. This is definitely a parking garage for the hotel. So friends, this photo right here of Elvis, it looks like it could be somewhere like this where they modified it, but you see that the sprinklers have been made into the ceiling here. Those, the sprinklers are up high right there. You see that they're moving around. The, the heads are actually the other way. The modern way is the heads to hang down like Tom Dooley. Some of y'all get that. But we think it's possible that this photo was taken down here, but none of it matches up anymore and it's all been modified. But this photo is supposed to definitely be here in Cincy. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it does look a little bit like that. So you see how you got this box sticking down? And there's a box there, but it still doesn't match up. But you've got those, so it's a high probability it was down here. And that doesn't match up, does it? No, nope, nothing does. All right, so we're on the other side of the building, the direct opposite side. Let's see if this matches. And I want you to look. That one's, that one's square. This is at an angle. How are y'all? So this is longer. I don't, so we can't match it up. Can't match it up. That's the only picture we got. But this would have been the exit side of the hotel, out of the parking garage, and they would have come out here. I, I see something. I think this is possible. A lot of things change. What we were looking at is how the ramp comes up and then it flattens. So it's flat to flat, where here it's crooked to flat. Okay, so let's go opposite. What if they're going in? Now, this is it right here. Look at it. So if you take that and you do like that, they're starting their descent. Yeah. In. So it'd be more down. So up. they're actually going in the parking garage. They're not coming out. That's the answer. And coming in this way. Yeah, they're coming in like this. So. Because the other one doesn't have a flat like that. The other one doesn't have a flat spot in. It's all the way ramp all the way. So friends, what we figured out, there was a sign that was somewhere along in here that said only an exit. So if you were trying to come in, you would see it either way. So they were actually going downhill, which when you do this with it to line up with the car, it makes the ceiling look crooked. So they were actually going in the outdoor. That's the answer. And they were going down that ramp. Yeah, and it going had into to the be parking garage. Right here in this area. Yeah. Because of the flat. Yeah. And right what makes it look weird is it's flat here and then it angles down. So the sign would have been somewhere along in here. And that's what gives it, when you turn it to the shape of the car, 
going down, you see people standing somewhere along in here. Yeah, right there. So Elvis came in the outdoor. service elevators. Yeah. So this would go all the way up and all the way down. Yeah. Okay. So most likely this is where he would have come through. And he, and like we said, the, the story is that the air conditioner quit, which we don't believe is true. Right. We believe it was something else. But irregardless, he did leave and literally walk down the street to another hotel. Now, did you see that building down there that learns? We haven't to... gone down there yet, but okay. we're going to. All right. That's good. This is, this is the service elevators right here, friends. And so this way, okay, and then down would be the parking garage. Okay, we went to LL. So what we figure is Elvis was on this elevator and he would have gone down to LL. We're going to show you how he would get to the parking garage. He would have gone this way, which we're going to have to do this. But it should. This is the only way to get to the parking garage from the service elevators. So right here. All right, that's one thing. But where are you going? Which floor we're going to, but it's usually there. which floor the Elvis stayed on, but usually it would be the 29th, the highest floor. And we'll have to do some more investigation. We can, I have people that were with him that may be able to concur which ones. He usually stood right here. Yeah. So we don't know. All right, let's get the other one. My ears popped a little bit, boy, that's high. This to leave this hotel. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This photo that you see right here. That picture that you see right there, that building was right here. It's been torn down now. But they show that he crossed the street here. He 
then he crossed the street from the photos we can make this out then he crossed the street here thank you thank you very much that picture of Elvis was captured about right here at this angle right yeah so that building would have been right there and Elvis would have been standing right here getting ready to step across we got one more truck and we're going so that happened that building is right there he would have come here, mad, he's mad, but he would have come right down here. So some of these photos are between the hotels, but some of them are him leaving this hotel that we're headed to, Stouffer's. So he would have walked from that hotel to this hotel. Right here, that's the Stouffer's. Now I speculate, you can see there was a garage right there going in under. I speculate that one of the Memphis Mafia would have run ahead, got them ready, got a room, started preparing to ease him in there. Those mufflers are ridiculous and I bet the car's not fast as a, as a Datsun from the 70s. But they stayed there, he left that hotel. The photos you see, or him leaving this hotel, right there, and coming to this hotel, right here. That's about that. He stayed right here. So, now you know a little bit more of that Cincinnati Elvis history, friends. Man, the globe trotting with Trey, we had a fun time here. We yes, just went right. up to the 29th floor up there on the top. We went down to the basement to show you how we could go through. Al Elvis would take the freight elevator down and go through to get to the parking garage, and he was definitely in that parking garage. And he also definitely walked down this street. You can see him crossing on that corner over there because you can see the building behind him over there. And he comes from there to stay here. One of the more famous, one of the more famous Elvis stories, Spa Guy? That's right. Right here. That's right. There's a lot of photos of it. There's a lot of speculation. Now, I will tell you that some of y'all have joined my YouTube club, the ones that are on level two and level three, I'll tell you the rest of the story. That's why you should join if you haven't yeah, already. Yeah, the rest of you. You get all the good Elvis stuff. That's right. That you don't get on the regular YouTube. That's right. Thank you guys for your support, and we appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. Are we having fun? I'm what having What you got in your hand? <laughs> Spa guy bought some cupcakes. Oh, ho, ho, we have cupcakes. We're about to go stuff our faces. That's right. Yes, indeed. Got to have that energy. You can't do this without energy. Yeah, because we still have about 25 more places to stop. <laughs> That's exactly right. One more here. And this dude that right there, I'm going to show you the top of his head. I don't know his name, but that dude right there sitting behind that glass with the hat on, he was very gracious and really helped us a whole lot right here. He does Prince, his job real well. He does. Tell. Elvis in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, indeedy, indeedy. So this is Stouffer's. That is this tower. The one you see behind is that tower right there that they're tearing down, the one behind. So the parking area where Elvis was, you see where these posts are, was right here. So he was literally Park coming out of this side of the of Stouffer's and there was a parking area right here and you could see it there in that photograph. So when you look at the actual photograph looking back the other way, this is what you see. You see that. So that pointing out was pointing to a building that used to be here that you could see in the photo. Let me go back. That you could see in this photo with that on the edge of it. You see those little things there? That used to be right here, and it's not anymore. It's been changed to that building, whatever that is, new construction. So that was the parking garage. Well, it's all changed so much. That was the parking garage that you see across the street in the photo. So that right there was where Elvis walked to from the other hotel. So the building that you see in the back that looks like a parking garage was originally right here. So if you look at the picture, if you can imagine, this is shooting this way, and they were standing on the other side of Elvis somewhere along in there, 
shooting back this way. And the street that you see, you can actually see the street with the lines in it is this street right here. This is Elm. And sadly, they're tearing the hotel down right now as we speak. But this happened. That photo right there happened right there. So I found some photos of right here is where the posts would have been. You can see over there is where the parking garage, he would have been under where this cat is, where that machine is, is where he was walking and getting in the car. I'll show you the photos. They actually covered the roof up at some point, but he was in that little parking area right there. And you can see, friends, you used to be able to walk between the two buildings. See, there's a sidewalk right here. So it's possible that to get in, they would have had to come down fifth over there, come through here, come to the front. But really more than that, I speculate that one of the best mafia ran ahead, probably had a back door open for him ready to let him in. But he literally walked to this hotel right here. So just to make sure you understand, this was the, the Stouffer's and the lobby would have been on the other end of it. He would have been in the parking garage. He'd have been on this street right here getting in the car. The crosswalk would have been across this street. The parking garage would have been here. I'm on the other angle. Another thing, you could still see that they have the word hotel up there on the side. It was Stouffer's. And I'll show you one more thing. This set of doors right here, I don't know where they were trying to go with that, but boy, that first step is a doozy. It was a crosswalk very much like this, but it would have been right there. So friends, we are out in the Boon Boons, right outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. I don't even know which place Cincinnati is from here, but you can see that we're just kind of out in the country. But right here on this spot used to be Cincinnati Gardens. They supposedly tore this down to build something else that was gonna bring a bunch of jobs, but as you can see, it never got built. Such is the life of people in the big city. Elvis played here in 71 and 73. In fact, in about 10 days, it will be 50 years since he played here in 1971. 50 years ago, in 10 days from today, he played right here at Cincinnati Gardens. The Beatles, incidentally, played here in the 60s as well. Sadly, nothing here. The only thing that's here right now is Trey, and he looks like he's globetrotting. I am globetrotting, spa guy. The spa guy is spa guy. <laughs> I'm, Scott. I'm spa guy. So think about this. 50 years ago next week, Elvis had a heck of a show here because you can hear the audio on YouTube. That's right. The audio was out there from this show. November what? 11th. The 11th. 1971, then he played June 26, 73. Right here, the Beatles played in 64 here. Uh, there was an NBA All-Star game in the 50s here. Really? In the NBA All-Star game, the pro, uh, the Cincinnati uh, uh, Royals, I believe, NBA team played here. Wow. So that's a lot of history. That is. And it's gone. It's just gone. They just tore it down claiming they were going to build something else cool. Here. I've got to walk out He's got to walk. He's going to dribble. He's going to double dribble out there. I've got to dribble the ball. You know, right there. Right there. I can beat him playing basketball. Y'all know that, right? I let him believe he's good at basketball. So it happened literally right there, friends. Cincinnati Gardens. This is what it looks like today. Basically, it looks like nothing. Just a field. In fact, if I didn't bring you here and tell you that this was here, you would have no idea. And I'm sure it was really good for this neighborhood for that to go. And the days of it's gone sadly. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy. Friends, thank you.